Content Army Desata, Chuengu Mwangu, aka Oyeyami. The spokesperson for the command, Michael Abatam, disclosed that Mwangu, who deserted the army after eight years of service, had committed many atrocities. Abatam said after years of surveillance, the suspect was arrested during his father's funeral in the Abom, the same local government area of the state. He said the Imo State Police Command has arrested one of the notorious and vicious IPOP and ESN commander, a deserter from the Nigerian Army, Lance Corporal Mwangu Chuendu, aka Oyeami, 34, who has been on the command's wanted list and was being trained for a long time. The suspect, whose modus operandi was guerrilla like, that is, he unleashed surprise terror attacks and went into hiding in neighboring states, was arrested on December 23, 2022, around 10.30 a.m. in his hometown, Amahoruhungu, in Abal Mbise local government area, after diligent gathering of both credible and technical intelligence during his late father's funeral. The suspect sat at a vantage position while his members were on surveillance. On sighting police operatives, they took to their heels, engaging the operatives in a shootout using the crowds as a shield. The gallant police operatives retaliated professionally and tactically to avoid bullets hitting innocent persons in the crowd. He was later arrested after a long chase alongside two of his gang members with bullet injuries, while others escaped. Amazingly, he did not sustain any bullet injury. This he attributed to the charms worn all over his body he called Odeshi, meaning native bullet proof. The police said after searching the suspect's house, they recovered five pump action guns, two cup to size double barrel guns, four locally made pistols, 50 rounds of live cartridges, nine locally made hand grenades, ESN regalia, and charms and rings. Mwangu was alleged to have confessed to training over 1,000 ESN members in weaponry and terror attacks. He was also said to have confessed to have led attacks on security officers, police stations, and office of the Independent National Electoral Commission. The suspect also allegedly narrated how on May 30th, 2021, his gang murdered Ahmed Gulak, the former political advisor, to former President Goodluck Jonathan. He confessed that he led the operation and they double-crossed and stopped the Toyota Camry taxi car that was taking him and his friend to the airport and ordered them to come down. Shot him but the bullet did not penetrate his body. So he went to him, removed the rings on his right fingers, shot and killed him along the airport road. He led his gang members including one Okechuku Duru and others to kidnap one Jude Nwaiwi on November 4th, 2021 and collected a ransom of 21 million naira after killing four persons in the residence of the victim at Amaro in Abo Mbise local government area, Imo State, the police spokesman added. Nwangu was also said to have murdered the traditional ruler of Amaro Ngoru about only say local government area, Imo State, Eze Anyawi, a native doctor in Amaho Uru Nguru, Uzodima Aiwe, Wan Ugochuku Olewike, aka Tako, the youth leader of Amaho Uru Nguru, Wan Kubo, a police inspector and a police sergeant, among others. On December 25th, the suspect reportedly led security agents to a camp in Oboru, where the operative recovered five GPMG guns, four cuts to size double barrel guns, five pump action guns, three locally made bombs, 19 rounds of AK 47 life ammunition, 52 life cartridges, 14 tear gas canisters, two police handcuffs, four safety desert boots, among others. When interviewed, the suspect confessed to the crime and disclosed that some of their sponsors live abroad and in the country. From Lagos, this is Pete Sumabuko, News Express Nigerian Television.